swatched and done these were like i said for from um details ma uh, material art shop in newcastle and they're all 150 each no matter what you get i know you can get like packs um online and stuff but they're just like kept singular in the actual shop because um, obviously you can't really see um the pearl red one but it's almost got like a if i can get it to focus it has like a slightly iridescent like metallic look to it you might not be able to see it in the camera but that's that um my favorites are definitely these two the um yellowish green and the turquoise blue the probably the most pigmented in my opinion as well even though that one's not supposed to be fully opaque but they're really good and also the grayish blue 
is brilliant as well. Um, primary magenta is obviously not opaque really. Um, it's all right, but it's a little. I like colours that are like full on pigment and just bright. Um, actually, Azo orange is actually really good. Um, and Naples yellow is also really good. Um, and obviously oxide black, but I mean black in any acrylic I find just tends to be like really pigmented, so it doesn't really matter that. I have brought you a little closer as well. Sorry, my hand's casting shadow um to the page so you can kind of see a little better. Um obviously I've just swatched all the Amsterdam acrylics. Um I've already mentioned like a um a like opacity, opacity, however you pronounce it. I'm shit with words. Uh, that does not my fault. Well, it is my fault. I'm just illiterate. Um obviously I've wrote all the numbers down. I've just literally done simple swatches. All the swatches on the left hand side for each colour was um with the number four galleria um rounded brush and then on the right hand side you had the more squared off flat brush uh, which is number two they're both winsor and newton um galleria brushes in terms of color range obviously i don't have loads of the um amsterdam acrylic paints i've just got a few um but obviously the ones i've got are pretty much all the colors i kind of need and like um aside from colors like this aren't really my thing i'm not really a huge fan of pinks and magentas and like um rosy type colors um but obviously they are really good for like skin tones and adding as well for like um the good with mixing with greens if you want like a deeper shade just for like leaves tree branches things like that colors i tend to warm to is more like your greens and your blues um which funnily enough are probably the most opaque in my in my opinion and um, especially the brilliant blue and the turquoise blue they're really um pigmented um olive green's pretty good and um, obviously with some water and that it does lighten up quite a bit um, but if you're just using some like dry brush strokes, um, it's quite pigmented. Um, same with the magenta. It's only when you add start adding more into it that it actually lightens up quite a lot. It's quite deep, um, the color. Once um, if like it's just dry brush. Um, same with the grayish blue. That was quite pigmented. Um, and I was quite surprised. I thought it was gonna be a bit like washed out because obviously these acrylics aren't expensive. Um, the probably would be considered more like student range, even though in my opinion, the probably is just as good as some of the professional ranges. Um, gold ochre as well, dry brush is quite pigmented. Obviously, added some water in that. It is quite light, um, but it'd be quite a good colour to like use in like forms of mixing to do like I don't know beach scenes, things like that. Um, obviously, it's always good to have the primary colours like your yellow, your red, um, blue or green, like things like that, because you can always lighten and darken them shades, um, and also mix them obviously with other things, um, to make other colours like your purples and your pinks and um, darker and deeper shades of the colour that you've already got um, but I hope you enjoy the video and thank you for watching um, obviously give it a thumbs up if you liked it and comment what you'd like to see next and subscribe see you later <laughs>